To the rapidly changing legal landscape surrounding abortions, the procedure now illegal in Georgia from the moment a heartbeat can be detected. That's around six weeks, a time when many women don't know they're pregnant. A federal appeals court allowed Georgia's new law to take effect Wednesday, and it's already having impacts here on the first coast where abortions are legal up to 15 weeks. On your side is Kaylee Tracy is speaking with local providers. And Kaylee, what are you hearing about the past 24 hours? What are they telling you? Well, Anthony, the CEO of A Woman's Choice, which has clinics in Jacksonville and in North Carolina, says today alone they took close to 600 calls at their call center. And the majority of those calls were from Georgia. We were inundated with, with mostly Georgia callers today. Kelly Flynn, CEO of A Woman's Choice, says her call center has seen a dramatic increase. Especially over the last couple of weeks, um, we're seeing more and more, I mean, at least five to 10 percent more calls a day from surrounding states, Tennessee um, and Mississippi, Texas. Not just increased calls, but increased confusion. She says they sent one patient who was just days beyond Florida's 15 week limit to Georgia Wednesday, only to learn the procedure was no longer legal there. That patient ultimately had to fly to New Jersey. It's unbelievable. It's unjust. Um, and just not, just knowing that a person has to go and travel so many miles to have safe, accessible care is, um, it's still hard for us to, to believe. Flynn says she and her staff prepped for this surge in May when the draft opinion overturning Roe was leaked, but it's been tough staying ahead of shifting legal realities. We are anticipating uh, more more patients crossing borders. Women are traveling from all over the country now to come to Florida, and Florida has really become, unfortunately, an abortion destination state, and it's uh, terribly tragic. Andrew Shervel, founder of Florida Voice for the Unborn, is calling for a special legislative session asking Governor Ron DeSantis and state lawmakers to ban abortion altogether in Florida. It's really a tragedy because this is something I believe that the legislature and the governor could have avoided had they um, actually acted um, a few legislative sessions ago to get the ball rolling on state litigation. I reached out to the Florida Agency for Health Care Administration to see how many out-of-state abortions have been done so far this year in Florida, and I'm waiting to hear back. Back to you.